Hello there Stevos. welcome to weekly vlog 138 on this Monday morning, it's 4.30 in the morning, I've just woke up, just got dressed into my work uniform and I'm currently taking Buddy out for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood on this Monday morning. Just about to give Buddy his food and water. Just made myself a flask of tea to take with me to work on this Monday morning and I'm just about to put my smartwatch on my wrist. On my way to work on this Monday morning, just about to do a 5.45am to 11.45am shift at work on this Monday morning. Monday afternoon, just got home from work, just about to get out of my work uniform. So I've just made myself a flask of mocha, I've also um, just about to have a shave and while I'm having a shave I'm going to catch up on last night's episode of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here on ITV Hub on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus device. Now about to watch today's episode of EastEnders on BBC iPlayer. Now watching this week's brand new episode of The Simpsons on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Now watching a brand new episode of Bob's Burgers on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Now watching The Great North on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus device. Now watching Little Demon on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Now watching American Dad on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Now watching Rick and Morty on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Earlier this morning on Disney Plus here in the UK, around about 4am, we had this Elton John Live farewell tour uh, from Dodger Stadium. Uh, now, obviously, this was a live stream. This was live streamed for three hours from 4am uh, this morning UK time. Obviously, I weren't able to watch it because, well, at four o'clock this morning, I was getting myself ready to go to work. So I've decided that I'm going to watch the replay of this now. It's on Disney Plus um, here in the UK and around the world. I'm not sure how long the replay is going to stay on here for though uh, which would be very interesting to find out um, but I'm going to watch this now on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus I have cooked me and my mum uh, dinner tonight so for dinner we have got a tomato and mascarpone cheese pasta it is Monday night it's 20 past 9 and I'm currently watching live ITV1 coverage of I'm a Celebrity get me out of here on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Hello, Plus. Morning. Monday night, and I've just made my last flask of mocha for this evening and for today. And I'm also just about to take my nighttime medication with my mocha as well. So I've just got myself ready for bed. I'm in my nice warm pajamas, warm pajama top, and warm pajama bottoms as well. Um, <laughs> So yeah, so I'm in my very warm pyjamas um, because it's getting cold. Don't know if anyone's told you guys this if you live in the UK or anywhere around the world apart from Australia who are currently in very hot conditions over there with it being summer. But uh, everywhere else around the world, don't know if anyone knows this or not, but it's winter. Or we're getting close to winter. You know what, right, guys? I'm this close. This close to getting out my onesies. Literally this close to getting out my onesies. Honestly, I dare that weather outside to get any colder. And I'll do it, alright? I will fish out those onesies and I will wear them in the weekly vlog. Who knows? By... By the, by the time we get to the end of this week, or towards the end of this week's weekly vlog, if it gets any colder, then onesies are coming out in this week's weekly vlog, alright? Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, it is now ten past eleven at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. I'm going to head off to bed as I've got work once again uh, tomorrow morning. So, I'm going to put my camera on charge and head off to sleep. I will speak to you guys in the next part of the weekly vlog, which will be Tuesday. Morning everyone, 4.30 in the morning on this Tuesday morning. Just woke up, just got dressed into my work uniform. Currently taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the neighborhood. Just about to give Buddy his breakfast and water. Just made myself a flask of tea to take with me to work and I'm just about to put my smartwatch on my wrist. On my way to work on this Tuesday morning, doing a 5.45 to 9.45 shift at work on this Tuesday morning. Oh, got it, got it, got it. 
Sorry, I had to get my bag. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it is Tuesday, just got home from work and I'm just about to uh, get out of my work uniform. Just making sure I've got my spare camera battery with me. Um, and yeah, I'm about to get out of my work uniform and then after that, I'm going to go into the bathroom and have a shower and have a shave as well. Okay, Tuesday and I'm on my way to go and catch the bus at the top of the road here as I'm about to go and head off and see Damon and Kim. Honestly, I've really, I've missed being with them both so, so much. I really have. So I'm really, really excited to go and see them uh, very, very shortly. And uh, yeah, we'll show you guys what we're up to today in the next few scenes of the weekly vlog as well. Also as well, I've taken Buddy for his walk as well. Second walk of the day around the backfield. It's a lovely sunny day as well, which is nice. Um, hopefully it stays like this, fingers crossed it stays like this. Um, so yeah, so, and I've also had to help my mum with her mattress because she's got a new bed mattress and uh, she needed a hand with getting the polythene off of the uh, bed mattress. So, I gave her a hand with that as well. Anyway, off I go to go and see Damon and Kim. Let's go see them. So I am at Costa and I have gone for a brie and cranberry toasty with a Terry's hot chocolate orange. And I've also gone for a raspberry trifle loaf cake. Here with Kim. And I'm here with Damon. Hello. Long time Long since time. we last met up with each other. Damon, what did you go for? I just went with a chicken Vegeta wrap and um, it's a cake thing. And a cake thing. <laughs> and Kim, what did you go for? You went same for a thing. Fahid, the same thing, pretty uh, much. That's, I think it's a lemon and raspberry cake, I think. That's it. That's yeah. I went for Terry's chocolate or hot orange. No, hot orange. Terry's T chocolate. Or Terry's chocolate orange hot chocolate. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so uh, yeah, we're just gonna sit here, have a catch up with uh, one another because it's been a while since we last uh, spoke with one another, really. And uh, yeah, have some of your meat and drink. We are at the cinema. We're in Screen Five at Odeon in BH2 with Damon and Hello. Kim. Here we are. We're about to watch the menu in the cinema. We're in. We're in a. We're kind of sat in the middle, not at the back, because apparently the cinema's going to be full. So, but we've been to Greg's, got ourselves something to eat from Greg's, and something to drink as well. We've got some, me and Kim got some fudge. And some sweets. Loads, of, yeah, and we also went and got some sweets as well from Mr. Sims confectionery shop so yeah we've spent loads I spent 40 quid before the cinema even happened wait what you spent 40 quid before cinema even for the cinema for the tickets <laughs> 40 quid anyway so yeah so we're about to watch the movie we'll let you know our thoughts on the uh, movie the menu um once we're out the cinema we've just got out of the cinema at odeon and we're currently at nando's in bh2 this is my dinner for this evening i've got a grilled chicken burger with some chips they're piri salted chips as well nice kim hello <laughs> you went for the pitta one didn't you yeah pitta chicken mash. With and some mash sort of chips. and some peri salted chips. I want the cob, but for some reason I can order it, so I went you could, mash instead. So you can get the. Didn't really fancy anything else. I just want. I wanted to call the cob. what I wanted, but. But they didn't have it, so you went for the mash instead. Yeah. Damon, you're just ordering now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've just got a grilled chicken burger. You're gonna get a grilled chicken burger with some chips. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we've all got a drink as well. I'm assuming Damon, you'll probably go for a coke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but me and Kim, we also went for a Coke as well. So, yeah, so we're going to tuck in now and uh, have some food. So, uh, obviously, we went and watched a movie called The Menu at Odeon in BH2. And, Kim, what did you think of The Menu? I really liked it. You really liked it? Um, I didn't... When it first came out, I, wasn't really, I didn't really care for it. But mm. it's actually a really funny movie. Yeah. It's not what I expected yeah. at all. But it's one of the funniest movies I've seen for a long time. Yeah. But it's really funny, that movie. Yeah. And what about you, Damon? What did you think? Yeah, of no, the menu? I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought, um, I think his name's Rice Ifans, I think that's how you say it. Yeah. He I did a really so. good job as the chef. Um, Anna Taylor Joy did a really good job in her role as well. Mm. Um, I thought everyone did a great performance. Um, I really enjoyed the film. Yeah, I'd give it like a solid like eight out of ten. Same with you, isn't it, Kim? Yeah. You gave it an eight out of ten as well. 
Yeah, I gave it I gave it an 8.5 out of 10 myself because I quite enjoyed it as well. I thought it was really, really funny. Again, similar to what Kim said actually, when I first watched the trailer and stuff, and it, this has also been said as well online, is that the trailer for it is quite misleading as well. So, you know, because it kind of makes it out to be like this hunt style movie, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's not actually about like like hunting for humans and stuff like that no. like the trailer makes it out to be um so but however though the movie is really really good we did enjoy it um and yeah i think i would definitely re-watch it again for sure um so yeah so the uh, the menu is in cinemas uh, right now so feel free to go and give that a watch if you've got a spare moment uh, over the next couple of weeks. Um, what's our plans now? Are we just walking around Bournemouth for a little while? Go and see the lights. We'll go and see the Christmas lights. Um, so we'll go and do that right now. Um, but yeah, we've had a lovely meal here at Nando's as well. It is Tuesday night and I have just got back from seeing Damon and Kim. Uh, now, I did film um, some bits for uh, Christmas. Uh, we went down to the Christmas tree wonderland in Bournemouth and had a look around and stuff like that and I have filmed some stuff but what I'm gonna do is basically next week is the start of Steve's weekly vlogmas okay it starts from the 5th of December and it goes all the way up to the end of December okay uh, now obviously this is kind of a replacement uh, from the whole Steve's 12 days of vlogmas kind of thing reason being is because i just feel like i feel like with uh, the 12 days of vlogmas is that this year more than the last couple of years i'm gonna say i'm gonna be a little bit more busier and obviously i do want to provide you guys with some christmas content and stuff like that so i feel like doing it the same kind of way as i did with halloween sort of um with the whole vlogmas uh with the whole vlogtober thing i'm gonna do steve's weekly vlogmas in december okay uh, and like i say it'll be running from the beginning of december and it will end at the end of december of course um and then obviously after that i'm gonna take a couple of weeks break from vlogging and stuff like that okay so but i'll reveal more details on that at the end of December, okay, um, nearer the time as to when the weekly vlogs will return in 2023. Um, but for the meantime, though, the footage that I did film for the Christmas Tree Wonderland in Bournemouth, uh, you guys are going to see that at the beginning of next week's weekly vlog, okay? So that's when that's going to be shown. Um, but in the meantime, though, what I do want to say is... As always, a massive, massive thank you to Damon and Kim for today because really have enjoyed spending my time with them. Um, and you know what? I'm going to say this. I genuinely have missed being with both of them together. I genuinely have. Um, do you want to know something, right? Kim, bless her. Uh, I will say this. So... I met up with Damon and Kim just outside um, Odeon uh, at BH2. And I said hello to Damon. And I said hello to Kim. Um, and Kim, bless her. She's missed me that much. She just literally came over, gave me a massive hug. So, which was really nice. Bless her. But, um, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I've missed her as well. Honestly, I really have. Uh, these last couple of weeks, it's been really weird not meeting up with both Damon and Kim together. Um, so, I'm really glad that I was able to do that uh, today. Um, and hopefully, we'll see each other again soon. Gonna watch tonight's episode of EastEnders on BBC iPlayer on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus device. Now watching tonight's episode of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here on ITV1, live on ITV Hub on my Hello, Galaxy Tab S7 evening. Plus. Wednesday morning, halfway through the week, halfway through the weekly vlog, just woke up, it's 4.30 in the morning. Very windy outside this morning, for sure. Um, and I've just got changed into my work uniform and I'm currently taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood. Just giving Buddy his food and water. Just made myself a flask of tea to take with me to work and just take my smartwatch off charge and put it on my wrist. 
Oh dear, it's been raining. It's like a light drizzle of rain. Great. Anyway, on my way to work on this Wednesday morning, doing my usual Wednesday morning shift of 5.45am till 9.45am at work. Last night was a little bit weird. So I decided while watching I'm a Celebrity get me out of here, on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, that I was going to lay on my bed. It's always a bad mistake to do that. And I cuddled up with Buddy, watching I'm a Celebrity, halfway through the episode at this point, and somehow, or rather, I don't even remember closing my eyes, but I fell asleep with Buddy next to me. So, <laughs> I don't even remember closing my eyes. I didn't take my night, I didn't take my nighttime medication. So, that's a bit all over the place at the minute, but it's fine. I, there is a plan. I always have a plan in case these things happen. So, I'm going to get to that plan uh, very soon. Anyway, <laughs> um, and what else? Oh, and uh, I woke up at 10 past 2 this morning because I realised I didn't take my nighttime medication. And I also realised that my phone wasn't on charge, it was on 26%. Luckily, it's fully charged now. Um, Buddy obviously was downstairs, and my lamp was turned off. Obviously, my mum had come upstairs into my room, found I was asleep, took Buddy downstairs where he belongs, and turned my nightlight off. There we go. All I was left with, this is why I woke up at 10 past 2 this morning. I heard this sound, and basically, where I was watching the live TV player of ITV, on ITV Hub for ITV One, where I was watching I'm a Celebrity, there was a sound saying no programs available at this point, or something like that, or no programs available at this moment, or something like that. And all I heard was. It was like this really weird music. <laughs> I'm not trying to speak whale or anything like that, okay? But uh, it was just really weird music and my tablet was on full blast. So it kind of woke me up, which actually weren't a bad thing, because it meant I could turn the volume, or turn my tablet off actually, turn my tablet off, um, put my phone on charge, and then realise I didn't take my nighttime medication, but I'm gonna, I've got a plan in place in case that happens anyway, so. I'm going to take it later on. Anyway, currently on my way to work on this Wednesday morning.
morning, Thursday morning. Currently out taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around uh, the backfield on this Thursday morning. Um, and then soon after that, as soon as I've done that, when I get back home, I'm gonna change my shoes because um, I'm currently wearing some old trainers to walk on the field because it's rather wet and slippery and muddy. Um, but obviously I'm gonna change my shoes and then I'm gonna go back out again because I'm gonna go to the carvery to have a breakfast. Um, and I'll show you that breakfast in a second. Um, also as well, by the way, that what you've just seen in the vlog a few moments ago was everything that I got up to uh, when I got home from work yesterday. Uh, I even went to the harvester as well. Um, I went there with my support worker because I had him yesterday um, and we decided to go out and have some lunch. Uh, very nice lunch, by the way. It was a festive lunch menu, um, which is a little bit, costs a little bit more than the average all year round lunch menu that the harvester does. But hey, it's nearly Christmas, so why not? Um, <laughs> um, but if you want to know, by the way, what I had, I had these like sage and onion flavored chips, as well as um, a Dirt, like a Christmas dirty burger, which had like cheese, um, I think it had cheese in it, it, obviously a beef burger, I think it had gravy in it as well, um, and then obviously I had an unlimited salad as well, salad bowl, had a Coca Cola, and I also had a Sunday best for dessert as well, which I couldn't actually eat, I couldn't eat all my Sunday best because that main meal was really filling, honestly, really was really filling. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, uh, so obviously I'm going to go to the carvery, have a breakfast, and then after that I'm then going to go and see Kieran. So before I go and see Kieran, um, let's find out what I've got for breakfast today, even though you know what it is, because it's a Toby carvery. They only do one thing at breakfast time, and that's a cooked breakfast. Let's just see my cooked breakfast, shall we? <laughs> For breakfast at the Toby Carvery at Cooper Dean in Bournemouth, I've got a cup of tea, unlimited tea. I've also got some breakfast. I've got some sausages, hash browns, mushrooms, uh, potato and onion. I've also got some eggs, some beans, and I've also got some bacon as well. So I'm currently at Hollywood Bowl at Tower Park with Kieran. He's just popped off to the loo very quickly. We've just started our game. Now I've asked for the bumpers to be up, but the bumpers aren't coming up for some weird reason. But just look at this score, look at this score so far. Kieran's got seven and three. I got zero on my first go, zero on my second go, but the final um, one that I got there, look, eight. Great, anyway, it's Kieran's turn. He'll have his turn when he comes back.
Pizza Hut in Tower Park in Paul. This is my salad bowl. Gone for a salad bowl with a Pepsi. Kieran's also got for a, a salad bowl. Yeah, I've got a salad bowl here. Salad bowl. Yeah. I've already been tucking into it. With a Pepsi. Pepsi. How is Kieran, by the way? Yeah, I'm doing well, thank you. <laughs> Kieran won the good. last game. Yeah, just, just by two points. <laughs> just yeah, by two points. I had to put the barriers up for the last game because, uh, well, Steve had them throughout the whole thing. I had them so, throughout the whole thing, yeah. yeah. So I didn't you, do too badly. Just no. I'm trying to remember the scores now, actually. I think there was a bit of a... It was a bit of a difference, weren't it, between the scores, but yeah. But yeah. the last one, I did manage to beat you, but just. Just, just, just by just. Points, because, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought I was overtaking Kieran, but no, yeah, no, no. My ball decided to go off track and just mm. went down the barriers instead and, yeah, into a gap. Mm. But yeah, so <laughs> we're going to tuck in and have some uh, salad here at Pizza Hut. <laughs> So we have gone for the unlimited pizza and pasta meal, uh, which is like $13.99 during the week here at Pizza Hut. Um, so yeah, so we've just got like selection of pizza, really. Kira made a joke just now about them apparently ranting about us taking all the pizza. Yeah, it was, a joke. It, was, it was a, joke. a joke. it was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> I just thought I'd just say that to Steve and see what his reaction to it. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, I took it seriously at first. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, they're, they're really nice. They're, they're really, food. Yeah, yeah, lovely food. Uh, to be fair, they have got some really lovely food. So I'm going to tuck in and have some pizza. And for desserts, of course, part of our unlimited pizza meal deal that we got, uh, we have got some ice cream. So I've gone for some ice cream with some Smarties, raspberry uh, sauce, and even some chocolate sauce as well. Mix it up a little bit. Mm. And I'm also going to get another glass of Coke, I think, because that's uh, starting to look a little bit empty. And Kieran's back with his ice cream as well. Is it nice? Yeah, it is actually. Yeah. What do you go for? Um, ice cream with... Ice cream, chocolate sauce, Smarties, and um, a little bit of a, just some other sort of random sprinkles. Some random sprinkles as yeah. well. <laughs> so yeah, so we're going to tuck in now and have some ice cream. Ah, oh, and I've just got home after seeing Kieran, of course. A massive thank you uh, to Kieran for today. Really appreciate meeting up with him as always. And of course, I will be meeting up with him again very, very soon. Of course, as always, uh, like we do normally on a Sunday, I will be Skyping him on Sunday on Skype. Um, just after I finish wrapping up this week's weekly vlog. But uh, we had fun. Um, I definitely had fun bowling with him as well. Uh, I thought it was really nice as well. Uh, to have a bit of a change. Um, obviously, if you are a regular viewer, you'll know that normally when I meet up with Kieran, we normally meet up and go for a Weatherspoon's lunch. And that's pretty much it. So it was really nice to actually like change it up a little bit and go somewhere different and do an activity as well beforehand. Um, so yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind going bowling again with Kieran. I really wouldn't because I, I did have a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. So, and... Um, yeah, it was really nice. And also as well, it was nice. Well, I won twice. Um, Kieran said I cheated. So, yeah, because um, I had the barriers up the entire time that I was playing bowling. Um, although, the first couple of times, right, so this is what happened. I started the game, right, and uh, the barriers didn't come up for, like, the first five goes on my first game. Um, so I kept, like, my ball kept going down the gutter. Um, so it weren't hitting barriers or anything like that. It wasn't staying on the, uh, on the aisle or anything like that. That my ball, uh, ball was rolling down. Um, so yeah, so I kept getting the ball into the gutter. This is why I use the, 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 the barriers. I want to get at least some pins knocked down in the game, you know? Um... So yeah, so that's probably yeah, so that's probably why I won the first two times. And then the second time, I was so close uh, the third time, sorry, I was so close to winning. And then all of a sudden, I knocked a few pins down, went to knock a few more pins down, and my ball just decided to roll down the side where the pins had already been knocked over and I weren't able to get any more pins. So Kieran beat me in the third game by 2 points. 
So, yeah, so he, he did win once at least. So um, he was pretty happy about that. Um, but, yeah, anyway, and, of course, went to Pizza Hut as well. And we had a nice conversation in Pizza Hut, a nice chat, nice long chat, um, and had a good laugh. So, yeah, as always, I really do appreciate meeting up with Kieran. Um, and I really can't wait to see him again very, very soon. Now just about to watch some more classic episodes of Doctor Who on BritBox on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. For dinner tonight I've got pasta bake. A very good morning. It is Friday morning here on my weekly vlog. And I'm now just about to open up my curtains. Let's see what the weather's doing outside today. It's something I haven't done for a little while to be honest. Is uh, Just talk about what the weather's doing outside. Blue sky, sunny. The ground's looking a little bit wet though, a little bit shiny where the sun's shining on it. But nice day, nice day outside today. Oh, and also, look, the leaves on the trees are nearly gone. Currently in the bathroom as I'm just about to have a shower and I'm also going to have a shave once I've had my shower as well on this Friday morning. Ah, definitely is a very lovely sunny day out here. Currently taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the backfield on this Friday morning. For breakfast today, I've got chocolate pillow cereal. Just made myself a flask of mocha, and I've also got Buddy up in my room with me. Look at him there, laying on my lap. And I'm also currently watching some more classic episodes of Doctor Who on BritBox on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus device. Just recorded this week's episode of Steve's Weekly Podcast, which is available to listen to right now on Spotify Music, Apple Podcast, and Google Podcast. Just search for Steve's Weekly Podcast to give it a listen. This week I'll be discussing uh, some new social media pages which I've created, uh, movies I still need to watch, and CCXP22, which is a uh, Comic-Con convention happening between December 1st and December 4th in Brazil. I'll be talking about that in the podcast as well as Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Doctor Who Day, and I'll even talk about some movies that I've recently watched at the cinema and on streaming service as well. The other day, uh, when I met up with Damon and Kim, obviously we went to this American sweet shop and they had all these like American imported things uh, in this shop. And one of them was this Arnott's Hundreds and Thousands Biscuits. To be honest, look at these. They kind of look like Pop-Tarts. So I got these for, well, they were usually priced at $5.99, but they had them on sale for $2.99, so I picked them up. And I didn't end up eating these at the cinema when we went and watched the menu. So I decided that I'd keep them and just snack on them. And I thought to myself, you know what, I might actually have some of these now, because I am feeling a little bit hungry. So I'm going to snack on these, I think. They do look really, really nice, to be fair. Oh, damn, look at these. Damn, they do look good. Mm, I'm going to tuck in and have some now. I cooked this at the beginning of the week and I've decided to cook it once again for me and my mum for dinner tonight. Uh, of course, I've got mascarpone cheese and tomato pasta. The only difference I've done this time around, though, is I've used macaroni pasta rather than swirly pasta. But that's my dinner tonight. Now watching tonight's episode of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here live on ITV Hub on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. It is uh, Friday night and as you can see I'm in my pyjamas. I've taken Buddy for his last walk of the uh, evening around the neighbourhood as well. And I'm pretty much now about to head off to bed. I've also just taken my last uh, medication for today as well and drunk my last flask of mocha as well for today so yeah i'm gonna head off to bed now um and of course close my curtains good night world see you tomorrow and i'll vlog um in the next scene of the weekly vlog i guess when it will be saturday saturday morning taking buddy out for his first walk of the day around the neighborhood just about to give Buddy his food and water. Just put my smartwatch on my wrist and just made myself a flask of tea to take with me to work. Currently on my way to work on this Saturday morning, doing a 5.45am till 10.45am shift at work this morning. Saturday afternoon, just got back home from work after doing my shift and I'm now just about to get out of my work uniform. 
currently taking Buddy out for his second walk of the day around the backfield on this Saturday afternoon. For lunch today, my mum has cooked me a omelette with some toast and some tomatoes. So I've just gone on to my tablet here and I'm currently on the app ITVX. Uh, it seems that ITV Hub uh, here in the UK has relaunched on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus so now it's being rebranded as ITVX. Uh, obviously the UK's freshest new streaming service isn't going to be launching until uh, the 8th of December officially but it is rolling out very slowly on smartphones, tablets and computers as well uh, so I've literally just logged into this um, but yeah I mean obviously you can watch Broadchurch on there, Shazam, Benidorm, Staged is on there as well, uh, Marcella's on there, Footballers Wives um, Aquaman, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here is on here as well. Uh, you can also watch Our House, Angela Black, The Suspect, Tina and Bobby, Innocent, No Return, Trigger Point, Bay, um, Fearless, The Ipcrest File, Manhunt. Um, and then obviously they've got like the FIFA World Cup as well. So you can go back and watch some of the highlights from the FIFA World Cup that's happening in, in Qatar right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I know obviously they've got trending. They've got a trending tab. I'm a celebrity. One Tree Hill. Only way is Essex. Love Islands. Our House. This morning. Real ha the Real Housewives of Cheshire. Loose Women. Um, yeah, I mean, it's all really good here. Uh, obviously, they've got Christmas movies because we're coming up to Christmas as well. Uh, Mr. Christmas. Four Christmases and a Wedding. Um, it's a very merry Muppet Christmas movie. Uh, Miss Me This Christmas. Uh, Back to Christmas. Um, the Santa Con. Snowed in Christmas. Um, Snowmance. You can't fight Christmas. I mean, to be honest, the Christmas stuff on here ain't that great. Um, then obviously, because I've watched... I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. They're recommending I should watch Only Way is Essex, which I never will watch. Uh, the Jonathan Ross Show, Real Housewives of Cheshire, which is another show I'll never watch. Uh, the Chase, Love Island, which I'll never watch. The Masked Singer, um, yeah. Uh, Family Fortunes, Tipping Point. Um, and then Make It a Movie Night. So these are some of the movies that are on ITVX. I'm sure loads more will be launching on the service uh, when it is officially launching on the 8th of December but for now though we've got Aquaman, Shazam, Amazing Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2, uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, Drive, um, Human Traffic, Something's Gotta Give, Despicable Me and Despicable Me 2 and then you've got like the best of the US uh, so Chuck, All American, Supernatural, One Tree Hill, Everwood, Veronica Mars, The O.C., Terminator, The Sarah Connor Chronicles, uh, Nikita, Hard and Dixie, Hellcats, The Sex Lives of College Girls. Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, there is a lot of stuff on here. Um, I mean, they've even got categories as well. So they've got kids, they've got comedy, they've got drama and soaps, entertainment, factual films, news and sports. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously these are like some of the kids stuff. This is some of the comedy stuff that they've got on here as well. Um, out of curiosity, does ITVX, I really hope they do, um, I'm hoping they've got, um, which they should do, Only Fools and Horses on here. Now the reason why I say that is because ITVX is also going to be combining uh, alongside, yeah they do, it's right there, Only Fools and Horses. Uh, ITVX is also going to be combining with the app BritBox as well. Uh, so obviously if you've got a BritBox uh, subscription, uh, then obviously you'll be using it through ITVX or you can use it through the separate app I guess. Um, or if you have got ITVX Premium which is $5.99 a month then you'll get BritBox added on top of that as well and of course here's the entertainment tab uh, here's the factual tab films um, yeah I don't think there's a lot of movies on here at the moment um, news which is just tonight ITV News at 10 and Good Morning Britain sports which you can imagine there's a lot of sport documentaries on here um, I don't know what that is. AD. What's AD? 
I don't know what oh um, uh, I don't know what AD is, but there we go. Um, yeah, so there we go. Uh, you can obviously watch the TV channels live as well on ITVX. I'll very quickly show you that. Uh, so obviously ITV One right now got the FIFA World Cup. ITV Two's last night's I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. Um, you have got World Cup Classics ITVB, ITV Three, ITV Four. Uh, you've also got CITV. Christmas movies, Love Island Channel, classic movies, crime drama, uh, Saturday Night, Every Night, True Crime, Vera, The Chase Channel, uh, ITV Classics, uh, The Real Housewives of Cheshire Channel, Midsummer Murders Channel, Thunderbirds, um, Love Island USA, ITV Signs, World of Morse, Loved Up. Hell's Kitchen, Unwind with ITV1. Uh, so yeah, literally, there is a lot of stuff on here uh, that you can get yourself stuck into. Like I say, ITVX will be launching officially on the uh, on the 8th of December, but it's I'm shocked, I'm surprised that I've got ITVX now on my tablet. I'm really, I'm really surprised by that. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, last six minutes of the vlog of me showing off ITVX. But like I say, the new service will officially be launching on Android, iOS and computers from the 8th of December. Now, just about to watch a brand new YouTube video from Daz Games, uh, which is him reacting to uh, people too good at their job hmm okay well i'm looking forward to watching this i'm going to watch that now on youtube on my galaxy tab s7 plus device i have got a box of celebrations right there and i'm currently about to watch you know what i'm going to watch both terrifier movies i'm going to watch terrifier and then terrifier 2 on amazon prime video i'm going to watch them now on my galaxy tab s7 plus device now on this Saturday night, I'm just about to watch tonight's episode of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here on uh, live on ITV1 through the ITVX app on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus device. And I'm also going to have a shave as well. Just got Buddy's food and water ready to put down for him to eat and drink uh, tomorrow morning. Just made myself my last flask of tea of this evening. Just giving my chinchillas some fresh water and some fresh food as well. Look, there she is. There's one of my chinchillas. Oh, Who's this one? This one's Lily. Yeah, Lily. There, there we are. Lily's having something to eat. And Lola, I believe, is at the bottom of the cage. But, oh, look how cute she is. Just got my work flask ready for me to make my flask of tea before I head off to work tomorrow morning. As you can see, the tea bag is already inside the flask, ready for me to make my flask of tea tomorrow morning when I wake up. Now the weather tomorrow morning is supposed to be raining, so I don't think I'm going to be taking my vlogging camera with me to work, obviously when I'm on my way to work and stuff like that. So I'm probably next going to vlog on Sunday afternoon in the next scene of the weekly vlog. But as you can see, I am ready for bed. I'm in my pyjamas. Uh, all I need to do now is just take my nighttime medication and then i'm going to be heading off to bed i put my headphones in my bag ready for work tomorrow i'm just going to close my curtains it's looking very wet out there by the way really really wet um but anyway good night world see you tomorrow and i'll vlog in the next scene of the weekly vlog which will be sunday afternoon when i get home from work afternoon all it is 12 37 at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog on this sunday afternoon i've just got home from work had a bit of a catch up with my mum downstairs as well and as you can see i'm still in my work uniform but i'm just about to get out of my work uniform now and i'm also going to take my medication as well Currently taking Buddy out for his second walk of the day around the backfield on this Sunday afternoon. Okay, so I've just made myself a flask of tea in my big grey flask there. In this bag here, I have got some naan breads. I don't know if I can show you or you can see, but yeah, in there, there's some naan breads. And for my lunch today, I've got this leftover Indian food, which my mum had last night for dinner because she went out for dinner with her work friend she couldn't eat all of her food and they well they went to an indian uh place and she couldn't eat all of her food so she asked if she could take 
some of her food home. So she's had a little bit and she's decided to give me some of her leftovers as well. So I'm about to tuck in and have that for my lunch. And I've also, buddy, hello buddy. I've also got buddy here as well. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, he nearly, oh, he nearly tried to get some of my Indian. Oh. Anyway, I'm about to tuck in and have my lunch on this Sunday afternoon. Now on this Sunday afternoon, I'm just about to watch Terrifier 2 on Amazon Prime Video on my TV in my bedroom. And that is pretty much it for this week's weekly vlog. And technically, this is the last Steve's weekly vlog, technically, of 2022. Because obviously from next week onwards, uh, obviously Steve's weekly vlogs uh, will be rebranded to Steve's weekly vlogmas. Yeah, that's right, vlogmas begins. So excited, cannot wait. Um, yeah, really am looking forward to it, to be honest, um, doing uh, Steve's weekly Vlogmas. I've got so much coming up uh, in December. Um, obviously, I don't know how much I will be able to vlog um, or how long each uh, weekly Vlogmas will be. But what I can say is... Uh, there is some great content coming up, okay, um, and it all starts from next week. So do join me for the first episode, or um, well, yeah, the first episode basically of uh, Steve's weekly vlogmas, okay. Uh, so that is coming up for you uh, on Monday next week, right here on my YouTube channel, Steve Official. Obviously, I've got some footage from the Bournemouth Christmas Tree Wonderland, uh, which I went to earlier this week with Damon and Kim. Uh, so you'll see that at the beginning of the weekly vlog um i will be meeting up with damon next week as well um so obviously you'll see that in next week's weekly vlog and also as well uh there is talk of me damon and kim meeting up with each other um as well next week so hopefully we'll have some footage of that um all that and i'll be watching movies and i'll be I'll be doing some. I'll I'll be doing some various different bits and pieces. I'm going to try and get myself out to uh, B and M next week. I'm going to try. I've been wanting to do it for the last couple of weeks, but I haven't been able to. Um, I just want to have a look around because I haven't been to B and M for a long time. Um, normally, I go there to get some snacks more than anything, um, but I always do like to have a look around anyway to see what they do have on offer at B and M. Um, but yeah, especially especially now that we're getting closer to Christmas as well. Be interested to see what Christmas decorations and stuff they've got around the shop, um, if they have any at all. But anyway, we'll see what happens, okay? You guys will find that all out uh, in next week's weekly Vlogmas. Uh, but that's all from me. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Steve Official, if you have not yet subscribed to become a Steve-o, like all my other fans are out there. Um, anyway... That's all from me. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video. Vlogmas, here we come.